You know what, Chapman students continue to push forward and expand upon their dreams. And one student is taking that to new levels, moving her career forward, and she's only a freshman. West Rapport is standing by with Tara Lynn Barr. You're aiming at the bear, right? This is the best day ever! <laughs> Frank, don't. Let me. I'm recording this. Thanks for turning off your cell phone. You're welcome. Tara Lynn Barr, thank you so much for being here. Of course. Really appreciate it. Now, in the trailer, we see, we see several intense images, including some propaganda, some violence. Can you elaborate on those for us? Well, the, the whole gist of the movie is that these two people are going across the country, going on a killing spree to kind of weed out the, the non-desirables in society. And by non-desirables, I don't mean non-desirables. I mean people who are rude, people who are nasty, people who are just kind of like dredges to society, you know? And, and, uh, and so basically that's what it is, this propaganda, My Super Sweet 16, Jersey Shore, uh, you know, these, these horrid, horrid political commentators are the people that this movie really is targeting. So the film comes out in theaters today. Today. You play Roxy in this new film. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about your character? Roxy is, well, it's a very Bonnie and Clyde-esque story. So I guess I would be the Bonnie to Frank's Clyde, who's the other character. And um, Roxy uh, is a very interesting character and was really exciting to play for me because a lot of characters that I audition for are, are very, you know, stereotypical you know, like the hot cheerleader or the, the scary goth girl, you know, people who we've seen before. And this girl was so different. And, and she was, in high school, she's very invisible, but not because she was weird, but because she was smart. And so, you know, she's a very interesting character and she's uh, unique. So you've worked on some Disney shows, some Nickelodeon uh, shows in the past. What's it like making the transition from TV to film? I like it. Uh, working on those Disney and Nickelodeon shows, the, the demographic is so different, you know, it's like you're playing everything, you know, times 20 and on, and on, on film it's, it's just, it's so much more natural and it, 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 it feels more natural too. So it's easier and it's also, I don't know, I like that there's a cult, you know, and there's the culmination of this one final film that we have at the end and not just like a series, you know. Now you're a freshman theater major. Yes. Have you done anything with Chapman this year so far? How have you gotten involved with Chapman Theater? Well, I guess technically I haven't. Um, but I, I was supposed to do the student-directed one X that they did a couple weeks ago, but I had to drop out because of conflict for the movie. It was actually one of the shows was the same night as our premiere. So I couldn't okay. miss it, so I had to drop out. But I, uh, next year, uh, in the fall, I'll be in a company that the theater department is putting on, and I'm really excited about that. Now, God Bless America, currently available on demand and in select theaters today across the country and around the world. Tara Lynn Barr, thank you so much for joining us today. Matt and Aaron, back to you. Thanks for that, Wes. Gotta say, the Chapman Theater Department with a lot of really young, raw talent in it. Definitely, you know, the level of, ch of talent that comes into Chapman these days is absolutely remarkable.